Hi and welcome to Five on the Farm. Today we're going to be talking about making homemade laundry detergent. Now I know it probably sounds to you like maybe laundry detergent that you make at home wouldn't work as well as what you buy commercially, but I've been using this for about two years and I'm amazed at how well it works. Uh, I wash all my clothes with this homemade laundry detergent. It all comes out clean and living on a farm you can imagine, especially with teenage boys, our clothes get really filthy. I don't use bleach and I rarely pre-treat. Once in a while I still have to. Now, this laundry detergent only costs about a penny a load to make. I bought these ingredients almost two years ago when I started doing this and I'm still using the same ingredients. All you need is Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda, 20 Mule Team Borax, a bar of soap. You can add scent if you want to. I do sometimes, sometimes I don't. Today I decided like I wanted to smell like lemon lavender, so I'm going to add a little bit in there. So the first thing you do is you take your bar of soap and you grate it with just a regular kitchen grater. And then a little bit at a time, you add it to some boiling water and you keep stirring. Don't add it all in at one time or it's too, too difficult for it to melt. While this is melting, you take a big five gallon bucket you can get from, you can get them from Home Depot or from an agriculture supply store or uh, really anywhere like that. Fill it up with four and a half gallons of hot water. I like using empty milk gallons. I try to keep those around. I've already put four gallons in there, so I'm just putting my half gallon in now. Really, I think I have a little bit of extra water in that pan, so I'm just going to put in this much. Put this into your big bucket. And then all you have to do is mix in one cup of the super washing soda. One cup of the borax. Borax seems to have some chunks in the box. Oh, look at that. There, that's better. You can stir that until it dissolves. Kind of go back and forth between your soapy water on the stove. Now this will thicken up as it stands. You can use it right away. I also like to use a plastic spoon just because I don't want the taste of the soap to get into my wooden spoons. You can use it right away. As it stands, it thickens. It's already starting to thicken a little bit, but by tomorrow it will look a lot like the commercial kind of goopy laundry detergent. Go back here, stir this. This is almost completely melted. I'm just going to go ahead and put in a little bit. It smells really good without this, but I'm going to go ahead and put in a little scent. I really like my laundry room to smell. It's good. I'm going to stir that up. And don't worry if your laundry soap isn't really consistent. It's not the most consistent stuff because it doesn't have all those chemicals added to it. Much better for the environment much better for your own pocketbook. As I said, with, without the scent added, it's only about one penny a load. I can't even tell you how much money this must have saved our family. And just add this into your big bucket. That, that's all there is to it. You can pop your lid on and store it, and it stores indefinitely. Now you can obviously make a smaller load for whatever meets your personal needs, but that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to contact us, and have a great day.